Do you know what happened on June 4th, 1989, at Tiananmen Square in the heart of Beijing, China? Did you know about the students peacefully demonstrating and calling for freedom and democracy in their homeland, China? Did you know that the Chinese communist regime brutally cracked down on those students with guns and tanks? Did you know that many students and other citizens were injured or killed? Many were persecuted and prosecuted in the aftermath. Some were jailed for over 10 years. Did you know that even mentioning this truth is prohibited in today's China? The events of June 4th are the most sensitive and untouchable subject. This can think this publicly, we could you into much trouble with the government. Do you know that in China, the truth has been twisted and covered up? The massacre has been wiped out of history. This tragedy has never been mentioned in school textbooks. In fact, the suppression of the student movement has been praised by the government as an instrument that has led to wealthy of today's Chinese communist regime. Do you know the reality? Hundreds, even thousands died. Many of the victims have endured cruel punishment and injustice. Some have become physically and mentally disabled. Families who lost their loved ones have experienced unmanageable pain, forced silence and mistreatment afflict them. They have been living in fear with no rights. Do any of us know these facts? Do any of us know the tragic stories and the names of the victims? Do any of us think of them, care for them, or cry for them? Better yet, have any of us been moved to action by the memory, or have they been forgotten in this busy world? They have been pushed aside by the glorified showcases through which the Chinese communist regime portrays itself. The Chinese communist regime hides and stifles their cries for justice with its so-called harmonious society. How sad to think that they might have sacrificed themselves in vain. So, we must remember that the moment when Lady Liberty once lived in Tiananmen Square, it was an astonishing moment filled with promise for China. Yet, that promise was never allowed to blossom. Do we have the courage, the passion, the sense of responsibility? to nurture the few roots that still grow quietly underground, waiting for the moment to reveal the promise of true liberty. In recent years, the Chinese Communist regime has sought to curry favor by promoting business and cultural development projects throughout the world. Part of their intention in this calculated projection of soft power is to lure the world into conveniently forgetting their countless crimes against humanity. The June 4th massacre is just one of the most recent tragedies against the Chinese people, which could be witnessed by the whole world. We must also mention that millions of other Chinese perished in the darkness of the past half century under the communist rule.
We now live in an era of economic globalization. The world has become a much smaller planet. When nations' problems affect not only that nation, but also all the citizens of the Earth. Therefore, I believe it is of utmost importance for everyone in the free world to promote the globalization of freedom. This is indeed the core foundation of true prosperity and world peace for all nations. I was born and raised in Shanghai, China. In 1989, I was a student at the University of Chicago. After the Tiananmen Massacre, I decided to stay in this free land of the United States. Subsequently, I was blessed with the honor of becoming an American citizen. It is thanks to many things to my love for my brothers and sisters in China, to my pride in America, my new homeland, to my passion and respect for freedom and peace that my conscience dictates me to remember. In pursuit of this, I have directed East meets West Music Arts, a non-profit performing ensemble based in Naperville, Illinois, in the United States, to present a John Force Memorial Concert year after year for the past 27 years. Like the bards of old, I choose to remind the world to remember this Tiananmen tragedy and all the tragedies of the 20th century that the Chinese people have suffered. I choose music to propel that memory and that awareness into our souls. These difficult stories must live for the sake of humanity. As we express our concern and love for those who still hurt our unhealed pain, and for those millions who were lost, let our memory of these tragedies make a statement that freedom should be available to everyone in every corner of this world. May we have the strength and the courage to walk toward this goal. This year, 2011, we have made a DVD of our 20th anniversary concert, Ode to Freedom. That year, 2009, was also the year of the 20th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall. As we march forward in time, we hope that our audience will not be limited to the concert hall. By this DVD, we send our message out into the world. We hope to reach millions, especially the younger generation. Let us remember the promise, the dreams, and the hopes that Lady Liberty gave us for that short moment when she stood in Tiananmen. May she live again for the sake of the world freedom and the peace. May God's mercy someday shine upon our troubled ancient land of China. I salute all who join us. Let us support humanity's cause for freedom in the entire world. After all, it is for you and for me, and for our children and our children's children that we promote freedom. We pray and we remember with passion the sacrifices made for us. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting our programs.